Welcome back for part two of Saturday's round. What a colossal meeting it is. Um, we're going to talk about the Oaks first. Which one? You are, believe it or not, Glenn is actually really excited. I am really excited. I, I think it, it I think been, it's just it should have been the first leg of the quaddy mark. I, th I think the problem problem is that the, the, doing the form for this program, you, you probably need a day off before you uh, before you get to uh, actually betting on it. Because man, it's man, oh man, juicy, oh man. It's juicy, isn't it juicy? Right, the ATC Oaks. Now, just before we get going, uh, obviously there's some very, very good mounting yard mail service coming out of Randwick tomorrow. Yep, I'll, uh, be, um, I'll be tipping all tomorrow because it's a good program. I've been tipping good the last two weeks, I'm happy. So, um, Randwick again, it, uh, it looks the right rail configuration, the right style of meeting for mounting yard mail. I'll have a staking plan available, I'll have a comprehensive set available. There's also be a meeting at um, Newcastle tomorrow. And um, Dicko is champing at the bit. He's back at Caulfield, he's had his Bendigo week off. He's fresh as a daisy. And Remember you can do a two for um, cheaper for both of us. That's right, the Mountain Yard Mark combo is... For one, but it's <laughs> the Mountain Yard Mark combo is $55. Now Dicko has also mentioned that um, Al Moonquith paraded very well at morning, paraded almost to the top at last time at Mornington and ran well enough against the bias. Uh, he wants to mention Pomelo, of course Pomelo is very closely related to a, uh, a future champion that's uh, yes. owned by Chris Lees. Yes. <laughs> Have we named that horse yet? No, no we haven't. No, but it has to be Penjob. Mm. Um, <laughs> Penjob is a great name. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Dicko's also tied up with Princess Posh, she's by Canford Cliffs who's underrated in the, U in, the uh, in Australia, he says. So there's a bit from Dicko, who of course, as I say, has got Mounting Yard Mail tomorrow from Caulfield. And John McLeod, is, uh, he's been uh, very much rain affected the last two weeks. They've had very wet tracks in Brisbane. Tomorrow is at Toowoomba, it's the Wheatwood meeting, and uh, I expect that he, um, he'll do a very good set for us there. Mac Bent Rant, it's on for Toowoomba tomorrow. Okay, so, uh, thank you for that, Dallas. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, talking about if we do get pin jobs through, and we, the next one we should, like, if we, we, we could call it no job, because we refuse to work, yeah. and then yeah. the last one we call head jobs, so we could just have the, th <laughs> yeah. the three. Hell, I suppose we wouldn't get head jobs through. we get no jobs through. No, but we'd have to, we can do a play on head job, can't we? Because you remember that uh, Richard Cranium uh, ah. horse, you know, like... Uh, we could. We yeah, just, definitely. Uh, that, that, that'll be the go there. Yeah. Now, the Oaks, Bonnie Val. Oh, no, no, no. So what is it going to be? Uh, what's the last one? Head it's all right. Job. It's all right. Look, so it's right in. Cranium job. Right in for the rant with your pseudonyms at the for moment, head job. At the moment, it's pen jobs our favourite brand next And whoever sent that in, that was a clever text. Mm. All right. Now Bonneval is a favourite uh, New Zealand Oaks winner. Four dollars forty. Mm -hmm. Five dollars fifty Nurse Kitchen. Five dollars fifty Harlow Gold. Nine dollars Laschetti Spirit. Nine dollars fifty Devise. Um, $14 Louboutin, $16 La Bella Dioza, $19 Perfect Rhyme rounds you out. Great Oaks. My word. Now, any My chance word. of Laschetti Spirit getting chopped out here from gate two? What, for lead? Yes. It's, got Jay, it's not Gun, it's Jay Ford. Um, this horse has taken an untraditional path to the Oaks and, and full credit. Yeah, to I know, but it, look, we've all watched it from the start recently. It's like she's drawn out wide and it's and been it gets going get the to stick get... out to try and get to the lead, right? And then she gets the lead, that's fine. But what I'm saying is gate two, it's like, oh, Laschetti Spirits missed the start and she settles. Oh, Mark, we know you're the biggest. No, 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 but I'm, I'm being serious. Come on, I'm talking about the race configuration. Probably, Surely no. there is some chance there of being chopped out of here. There is some chance of any horse getting chopped out. So let's just say that. But let's not wish it upon the connection. No, I'm not wishing it upon <laughs> them. I'm just, I'm, I'm just raising the possibility. It is a possibility, yes. And like I said, all horses. But it, 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 this horse is, because Jay Ford and Lee Curse a great chance to win the Oaks tomorrow. I marked it second pick and I hope, fingers crossed that it does the job, I hope it comes out nicely and I hope it takes up the running. I don't know if Jay's going to be as willing or as brave as Gum was in Melbourne. Um, okay. You, you don't even want to talk about this horse, do you? In case I chop your ears off. No, no, I, it's just, I, look, I respect that he's, that, he's, that he's prepared her perfectly. And differently. Yeah, I, Do I, I, I don't think she's got I mean, the credentials. There's, there's but There's sort of some sort of parallel there. What, what was the, the horse that ran around the favourite down there in Melbourne who ran in the Cox Plate beforehand? Samantha Miss. The 
Van Dyke horse, is it? Or oh, yeah, Yankee Rose. Yankee Rose. So, I mean, it went ran round odds on after the Cox Plate run, didn't it? Yeah, like, it's sort of similar. Yeah, right. Guys, I'm tipping number three here, and the main reason I'm tipping number three is because it's a three-year-old coming from New Zealand on wet tracks, and all our staying <laughs> events, we've seen old Ginger Nuts turn up, piss yeah. in, John Snow turn up and piss in, and then we go to the Derby, Ginger Nuts starts 7-4, and John Snow's tits. So the lead-up seems to work, the trainer seems to work, I Sophia Rosa Bowman won the Oaks last year off running, getting beaten in the New Zealand Oaks. Number three kind of tips itself bomb to me, just on those, the, the Murray Baker, he, he's a freak. I tip it to beat Les Giddish for us. But third, Harlow Gold, I thought did an okay job the other day. It's by Tavistock, and I thought tomorrow finds itself fourth up. Mark Zara do a good job there. And then I thought the race gets particularly... But hang bent. on, Devise has been shockingly close to the, the Bonnie Val. Yeah. Like, like they've, they've raced each other the last three, and she actually got closest at the 2400. I, I, I suppose I'd, you know, fourth pick, obviously a chance. Huey will be testing out a part of the track on one of our. I don't maybe. know why you keep saying that. Is it Huey's going to test out the track in a million dollar group one Oaks race? He's going to be trying to win the race. Good. Yeah, but the next so. race is worth four times that, Glenn. Mm. Huey will still, that's like saying, that does not make sense. No, no, it's an earlier race that he's got. Uh, I'm going wide here in this race. I, I'm okay, go. none of those. Look, I, it's not a race that I'm particularly confident about. Obviously, what happened to the old thirty-three dollars? Eh? Yeah, what about the old? Well, I'm, I'm saying, like, saying that um, walking or... moment and perfect rhyme um, beat the bias last week. Yeah, so, oh, that's that, all right. That, that, that only came to... home in forty point eight. Yeah, I know. That lead up uh, every year doesn't really hold up. Oh, look, race. it's rubbish. It's, it's rubbish. Diamond Made saying, is. Um, I just look, went looking for something at long odds, and you know, okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not penning Louboutin yet either. Obviously, it's been aimed at this race for a, for a while now. Great chance. Yeah. So Glenn's not on Louboutin. What the hell is Glenn on? Um, Glenn is suspended, isn't he? Oh, he's suspended, is he? I don't even know. He's out of play. So there the uh, derby winning jockey gets to ride on Louboutin. It's uh, B Baker up against his dad, M Baker. Um, and I don't know, what's, what, what is the score so far with B Baker versus M Baker in the staying races? M Baker's in front, by a long way. <laughs> I think he's one of those dads what you that say? won't let his son win. Yeah, yeah, I like that, <laughs> yeah. I like that, yeah. I like that. Or what about yes. one of those dads that's gone into partnership with someone else? <laughs> yeah. Oh, can me son? Oh, no, get this other no, this bloke on the side of the street, Lou. What's his name? Uh, <laughs> Andrew, Andrew Forsman. Forsman. Yeah, you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll yeah. do, kid. Like, There's a know. word for that, isn't there, Mark, when you favour your... Um, what's the word? When you're against your own progeny? No, when you're, progeny, for, you're or? for your, your bias to your own fa uh, family. Yeah, um, nepotism. Nepotism, yeah. There you go. I don't know, eh? Now, uh, uh, Nurse Kitchen's hard in the market here, Glenn. Any comment? She she sat on the rails the other day. I think you had to sit on the rails on that on yeah. the on that particular day. And I will point out there's an article on the site about uh, which is republished from last year. The short the, sorry the best finish in the Storm Queen has a terrible record in the Oaks. Yeah. So um, she fits that bill. I said three Bonneval, six Devise, five Harlow Gold. Harlow Gold looks the likely type from the Storm Queen. Very similar to me. So you left Lasquitty Spirit out. A oh, big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> exact same numbers I got. Except I'm cheering the old Curtis stable like you wouldn't believe. Mate, look, I'll, it'll be like Chautauqua for me. It'd be great to see him win. Right? Mm. But and, and I'm pretty sure he could do with winning at 58,000 of the stable and, and just... And the horse will be a genuine cup source then. Yeah? Right, the Queen Elizabeth is our feature. Unfortunately. A dollar fourteen winks, 13 Hartnell, 21 Happy Clapper, who actually does fit right in this race. That's moral. 26, the United States. Um, it's the only bet you can have Happy tomorrow. Clapper, of course, placed in this race last year. It's the only bet you can have tomorrow. It and unbeatable. looks the leader. Unbeatable, unbeatable. I reckon we'll get $2, $2.10 a place tomorrow, Happy Clapper. It's a great, great bet. What about Winks out around $4.50? Wow, that's a good bet too. Mm. It's the same sort of price though. Four fifty a win. Well, I mean, if you're that confident that it's the second horse. I just think the way she's, I'm like just real confident uh, the way Happy Clapper ran last week, it's fourth up tomorrow, I know how much improvement it's going to have from the mounting yard again, and uh, the fact that it ran second or third last year when it was a bit more beaten up, and this has got a very, very, very big tail on it, young Michael Thomas is going to go there tomorrow and pick up another 760000 or 400000 wow, sounds like a fun day to me. Yeah, look, he's, he's supremely well placed. Uh, it's a um, 
Now, the piece of information you've all been waiting for. Oh yes, yes. this was his bit, this was his little tin bit. A little tiny other, other than the fact that Winx has got synthetic hoof filler on. Ooh, that means it's dollar eighteen. Is that uh, Winx is yet to win past sixteen hundred meters in Sydney. We're out to a dollar twenty-eight for the punters tomorrow. They'll be getting now, a dollar twenty six. Before you go scurrying for your form, she's had two runs past sixteen hundred in Sydney. And T Berry rode her in one and Jay Marrera, Jay Marrera rode her in the other. What races were these? They were the Storm Queen. Yeah, I was gonna say Storm Queen. Where T Berry got the sandwich halfway down the straight. Yeah. Uh, won by that thing of B that B Shin rode for Lee and Sh Lee and Sh Lee and Shannon Hope. What was it? Fen Fen Fenway. Fenway. And then the Magic Man tried to go round them in the Oaks and Gust of Wind just cut the, uh, cut the corner and um, that was a mighty effort by Gust of Wind to tail up Winks on that occasion. And there are two runs past 1600 in Sydney. Wow, they're really interesting little tidbits. Obviously the, the two 10 fur long runs are in Melbourne, they're both Cox Plates, which you won by nine, hard held on the bride. Don't count, pen, that's pen job land. That's pen job land. So Look, what Mark said, it'll be uh, reacting to the marketplace tomorrow. Instead of winning by eight lengths, you'll probably win by seven. Okay. The Sydney Cup is over 30... Oh, we moved on pretty quick. 30... Yeah. Well, is it... Gordon, yeah. Gordon never tipped nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Gordon? Send us $33 and you're tipping Winks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. $33 for Winks. That's good. Uh, yeah, you can ignore that information because that's when Winks was a different horse as a three-year-old, so... Yeah. Well, she did... Yeah, it was the last time the Magic Man was on her. One and only time, in fact. <laughs> the old Magic Man. Gotta love the magic man. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, the Sydney Cup. Great race. Three dollars ten, Big Duke. Eight dollars. Hey, three dollars ten. That seems really fair price. Well, it's Cenobet prices. They're, they're, these are juicy prices. These because Cenobet on Friday morning they go. Let's put up hundred and ten. That's awesome. Right. And, and then, then they pull them down and then they put them back up at ten thirty the next day. Okay. Something like that. Three dollars ten, Big Duke. Eight dollars a sign. Nine dollars. Who shot the barman? Isn't everyone sick of it? $12 the resumer, Penglai Pavilion. $13 tally, 16 Libran, and $17 the other resumer, Polarization. Hmm. Now, um, Venga Mask, I have taken it up. Uh, of course, this race is exciting because we get to see them twice. Oh, it's always exciting. I, lo I love when you see them twice. I always go you beauty when they hit the line the first time and people think they're uh, right. Penglai Pavilion and Assign are your other on paces in this race, and Big Duke won't be far away. Um, is this a shit race? Yeah, it's got two miles. Of course it's shit. It's for slow horses. No, but we've seen better Sydney Cups than this. Yeah, so, but this is this is regulation Sydney Cup, though, Mark. We've got a lot of we've got a few bits and pieces from the Adelaide Cup, a lot of Mornington Cup, um, and not much Sydney Cup. Sorry, not no, much Sydney for. Not much Sydney Cup, but the, the, the race is just the easy tip. This race, Big Duke will get the job done. It's a lightly race, um, handling all the looks, conditions up here. Looks HTB. Looks hard to beat. It looks like dead set seven or four chance at best, maybe a five or four. Yeah, seven or four. Let's stick with that. It'll win. But I thought the horse that represented a bit of value to get into a placing here was number two, Libran. I think this horse has been doing a really good job. It goes with the track. It'll, you know, it'll, it'll unfortunately. It, could, he, could he be struggling from having that long a spell off? He had such a long spell. What a year, 310? Mm. Yeah, you know, like, isn't, isn't that his problem he's at this fifth, stage? Fifth up tomorrow. G'day, love. How you going? Um, he's fifth up tomorrow. And um, wow, I said hello to him. Um, and coming from the BMW, I like that, Mark. Different form. Yeah, look, the, the, the place. yeah, you want to you, you want to be an also ran in the BMW, not a uh, not a feature in the BMW. That's exactly right. Um, God send you thirty three. What do you say? Yeah, thirty three for you. Yeah. Oh, you know, you don't want to tip the favourite. He's a favourite you can tip. You don't yeah, want to tip it. The, the, oh, there's no way I'll back. Right. He's not backing it because it sat on the rails last week. That's 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 the key to it. God, yeah. God is. Um, God is, is penning. He's not only penning everything that comes from yeah. wherever, else, wherever else, but he's also penning anything that had the assistance last week. Right, so, so you have to pen Happy Clapper as well. Yeah. Well, I am penning Happy Clapper because I've, I've got winks on top. Send God 33. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. um, look, now there was a horse called Aloft that ran particular. In fact, it was the best run in that race last week. Yeah. Right? Uh, now, uh, Lloyd is not starting it in this race. He's starting a sign. He doesn't leave himself with no ammo in these races. What's the key to this horse? Or what's the key to that, it? that selection? <laughs> no, but a sign must be potent in this race because it's trained by Lloyd. I said he's trained by Robert Hickmont, but I know what you mean. 
He was a very good AFL player, a VFL player, Glenn. VFL. Day third up tomorrow, son. God, the staying things have changed. Remember the old days, you had to have 88 runs, 4,000 million kilometers. Anyway, all right, uh, it's 2032. I can't imagine it tomorrow, mate. I just you just can't, you you go broke underestimating that guy in these races. I agree with that comment. Um, My numbers were seven, one, two. You said you're sick of number one, but well, you know the people who own aren't sick of it. Just goes around all the time. It's like, it'll be up to three what million. Are you price defending right. owners these days and connections? You've oh, turned no, over I'm a new defending. <laughs> I'm not defending. But you guys say you're sick of this horse, but he's a bloody good horse. Yeah, yeah he's now eight. Uh, what about these two resumers? The uh, well, the pen jobs. Charlie Pinter, like he's a very, very sharp trainer. Charlie Appleby? And these these horses go pretty good, and they go pretty good first up at two miles. In England, where you go jiggy joggy for 2,200 metres, and then the race is on. This will be jiggy joggy. You know There's the no rule speed you have on here. For the Melbourne Cup, where you, you've got to have the run in Australia before you go into it, I think you can ignore that in the Sydney Cup because, because it's, it's so, so weak. much weaker. So yeah. weak. Definitely, definitely. Who will be favourite for next year's Sydney Cup? I can tell you now. Oh, wordy mind. Less squiddy Less spirit. spirit. <laughs> oh, there you go. She, won't, she won't be running next autumn. Um, <laughs> come, come on, on. she's a group one winner. She'll be bloody off to the breeding barn. Yeah. I bet you they race her. Race nine, the penultimate, the queen of the turf, $4.60, yeah. silence edition, $6.50, fox play. $8, Dixie Blossoms, $8.50, Heavens Above. $13, sorry, $12 Danish Twist, $13 Zanbar, and we haven't got to my tip yet. Great race, guys. And our Silence Edition looks the lure here, um, back up from 1200 She went uh, 15 of the Coolmore back to the 1200 to win the uh, Bodgy Group one down there, but win it in style. And back up to leading here, Euro Angel, who went back in the Doncaster, uh, could be persuaded forward from her it's, wide gate. It's $51, isn't it got a chance? Yeah, yeah, 31, I marked it. Mm. Um, Dixie Blossoms uh, should go forward tomorrow. I know she raced back the other there in the, um, in the Emancipation, but um, she looks to race forward there. Zanbar can go forward. Uh, Rising Romance, blinkers back on from the wide gate, may push on. Funny horse, Rising Romance. Funny horse, like mm. it's won, has it won one week New Zealand race ever since it's Oaks win. And just like, that, that's the thing about these majors, like, it just takes so much out of these horses that uh, I did a study of the 2014-2015 major winners and they were losing, losing propositions subsequently. Going forward, yeah. Unless they win again straight and get to the next level when you become like the yeah. dominant. Yeah. Guys, I'm tipping Zanbar again, traded so well the other day, One, I, I, I think the right lead up for this race. And uh, it did PR, which is a concern. But, but that last 50 was nice, wasn't it? It was like, nice. Yeah, We've got yeah. um, Damien Lane tomorrow, which I think is a, a good riding change from you, because I think Huey will be just so ecstatic from winning on Winks. And, and uh, I, I like the look of Zamba in this race. To beat 17 Fox play, it ticks a million boxes coming back in distance, and it's a line chaser and a very, very good horse. But I thought there was a couple of roughies of odd, Honourable mention, and they were, I mentioned it before, Euro Angel, but there was another one here, L. Lou. What price is L. Lou? Not as long as you think. It's only $71. I won't be doing anything but winning a fortune tomorrow on L. Lou if it happens to a lot. Where's Glyn? <laughs> what are you saying, Gordy? Only for the punters, or you didn't get I, I think there's a, there's, there's a lot of things outside of the market that, um, that can run races. Uh, I agree with you on Euro Angel. I, look, I have to have Fox play on top. I, I was worried about it. Why? Win Why two he hasn't starts. got the best form at all? Well, I, I was worried about it when two starts back. Because can we it, just have a look at the times the day at one at fifteen hundred, and the, that was run the same day as the yeah, Coolmore. No, but you know where you know where, you know where Fox. No, but they both ran over fifteen hundred on the same day. Yeah, I know. But and I Fox play would have been beaten a nice six lengths in the Coolmore. Yeah, see, but there was something wrong with Fox play on that particular day, and it still has me scared coming into this race because it looked like a horse that. Something wasn't quite right. Something was it. wrong. Something was I definitely wrong. But its next run, where it came from, was good. Showed that it wasn't gone yet. I like it. Yeah, but that's, that's like Lasketti like spirit level, that, that stuff. Well, I, look, I, I'm clearly got it on top. The Storm Queen doesn't fit this race. That's not, that's not, you know. I think, I think it fits the race really nicely. 2,000 back to a mile here. Yeah. And Especially it's, the failure. It's, and it's just so a Chris Waller thing to do as well. It's done it a few times. What are you doing, Mark? Where are you going with it? Where are you leading us? Uh, I'm tipping the other three-year-old filly. It's got a bit more um, pep in her step. Oregon's Day. Pen job. Um, uh, 
well, not only do I pin job Melbourne form, I pin job when they went at Mooney Valley. I know that. Pen, so that uh, that uh, that's where I'm left. I, I have marked Fox to play equal favourite with Silence Edition. Five to one the field. Yes. Uh, Silence you want to get Lambourne's prices cheap. Sil you know I mean? Silence Edition is a beauty. Sixteen starts, six wins, nine placings. Oh, it's a beauty. No doubt, it's a beauty. Um, it's just too, too too strange a preparation for it. Anyway, she looks. Uh, what I'm saying is that I think there's problems with both of those horses. They're both deserving, you know, hard in the market. Silence Edition, Fox Play, but I think they have problems. I hope Ty can win on Heaven's Above. He gets twenty nine thousand wages. Oh, that's about a third of what I used to get a year. Twenty nine thousand. Um, move on to race ten. I think the Dixie Blossoms has got a very good chance in that race. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Um, race 10, the Sapphire. And yeah, for you quaddy players, after playing one hope in the first league, make sure you put 44 horses in the last. $4.50 is our favourite Ravi. Boo. $8, Tycoon Tara. Boring. $9.50, Artistry. $9.50, Den Magic. $13, Next Pick, Ocean Embers. $14, Secret Agenda. Uh, Tycoon Tara gets forward. Lemmy Astray gets well forward probably leads. Um, Zestful's been ridden forward lately. I don't think it'll be the case tomorrow. Thames caught back from 1500, but on speed here. Um, and Hieroglyphics, I think, goes back rather than forward like it has been recently. Temp Me Dot could be a player up front. Um, Gord, it's all yours. Uh, I think... Yeah, I, I need you guys' help here, because I was pretty, like, this is, yeah. I, I, yet again, there's a lot of angles, but I... I I, I'm actually pretty keen, and I am definitely going to be backing number eleven, Ravi. I look oh. Snowden trials. Okay. You are a suck for a good trial. Yeah, you but, just love a no, good trial. No, but I got an opinion of this horse as I well. I know it's good horse. So, um, and sorry, where me, was this good trial? It, By all. Yeah, but for me, when Snowden horses win their trials when they're not pushed out, and you know it's one of their target horses, is a super good sign. Um, I think it's a serious horse, and I think it'll be winning. Um, I love Karen. I love Barrier 15. Can't get into too much trouble. Gee, Handles seems, all track conditions. It just seems like just a bet to me at the price of this. Gee, there seems a lot of chances here. I, 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 I'm in a real quandary about what price I'm willing to take. Um, but I think it'll be winning. Um, too many runs away from Sydney. Like, it's had three runs away. Caulfield, Flemington, Eagle Farm. Yeah, cheat, look. cheat, cheat. I think Ravi's got a really good chance, but she's just got a she's got a, a chink there as far as I'm concerned on the panel of that. There's two last start winners in this race. One of them's Ravi, and the other is also trained by Snowden, and it's $9.50. Mm. Artistry. Yeah, it'll go well. It's $9.50. I don't want to be every bit of that, Mark. Why? Why not? It's a hard race, this. All right, yeah, okay, away you go then, Glenn. You, well, you, well, I, you asked for our help, you've rejected well, our help. I have rejected. I'm tipping Painted Firetail on top. Number 15, I think it's Oh, my word, yes, the fresh up horse. The fresh up horse to beat Artistry, who I agree has got a good chance, but I think $9.50 is the right odds, and I think it'll be all of that. And for third, Ravi be able to beat Den Magic a little bit. It's a race I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm going to have eight in the quaddy. Didn't you want to see Den Magic drawn out wide, going like coming back in distance with didn't the blinkers one day, on? Didn't one day draw inside and go straight back anyway and then start to soak him and did a good job that day? Yeah, look, it, it's got a good chance. What about Tempt Me Not to improve out of its ass here? It'll improve out of its ass, but price is it? It's been back to the trial since. It's like, like James it's Thompson. only $34. Oh, I'll be all over it. Can't wait to get there tomorrow, guys. Um, and Tycoon Tara, I think, has got very little chance in the race. Well, I think it just had that real purple patch, didn't it? And then, like, yeah. tomorrow's a different setup completely. Well, it's just it's just an older mare that's resuming off a proper spell, not the little um, yeah, fresh up, not the little dink. So, Glenn, no. Now, I'm not going to make you do this because it's not one of those programs, is it? Like a fucking moral. You, you want me to do that? What about an each way roughy moral? Each way roughy moral. <laughs> Come on, Glenn. Give us, give our, give our, give our fans something to work with here. Give me the horses' names. Why do you two just talk? I've got to get, I've got to pull one right out of the ring hole here. Yes, no. Mm, yes. Well, we we like watching you work. Yes. Oh, look at that! What a dicky bird. All right, this is what the each way morals should be doing tomorrow. Peacock each way in race two is a great bet, and what do we collect? Win or place? 
throw on Happy Clapper to run a place, and you'll probably get five to four tomorrow, I would think. Uh, Two dollars twenty-five a place. Obviously, the great mare will win, and um, those girls on the ad, I think she can do it. I think she can. She's a dollar ten. So learn something about racing before you start commenting on it. And uh, I can't wait. Uh, I'm really looking forward to watching Happy Clapper run a place tomorrow. Right, Gord, do you want me to give you your, give give your good things out for you? Oh, uh, I've got two. You know, Al Manzora. Yes. And and, and what's Ravi. It? and Ravi. I would have said Pamela, but the way you think. Uh, just that two dollars ninety. Just now, I I am tipping Ace High race one number six. Boo, David. Jesus, Hay. you guys are going for you going to hit the home run, you two, aren't you? Hey? <laughs> yeah. No and, around, and, and race. Mate, if you want to join the Gary Harley team on Sky <laughs> Network, they like plenty of people there tipping favourites. You're most welcome. Yeah, okay, sweet. No, but God yeah, only, I, God like, only, I God actually like winning on the pole. God but, you, know, they, well, you, yeah. you think our 14 and 1 chances don't win? Yeah. God, God only tips uh, winners. Well, last time I asked you about 14 and 1, I was PMS on Wednesday. You said it was a means. It was 70 zit lob, so <laughs> fuck off, Gord. Ginger nuts. I think I think I was the one bagging that horse. Gord had nothing man. to do with it. It was best horse in the race. That's all I know. Huh? God knows it got. I'm saying for you, 14 to one chances do win races. You're saying it's a losing part of the market. I'd say if you've sort of worked it out for it, well, it's all about picking the right one. So for me, I pick the right ones in the sharp end of the market. I know you do. Yeah, you're well, saying that's the only way to play. That's the way I play. That's okay. the way I make money. Great. Yeah, look, well, I, 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 I think I think the three to four to one uh, section of the market is the way to look at it, and I've b marked both these horses half or less than half what they currently are, and I expect them to be shorter. Anyway, I... so Ace High in race one, and oh, sorry, I, Ace High won't be shorter than four to one. No, it won't be shorter than four to one. It'll be shorter than nine dollars fifty. Gee, I'd be surprised if that's happening. Uh, Murabi, Murabi is four four dollars twenty. It'd be eleven dollars. I agree with that. Anyway, anyway. Uh, actually, I'll bracket Toga Picter and Ace High in race one. Uh, race Great. five, number two, impending. That's a really hot bet. So thanks for watching the rant. I hope you enjoyed it. With viewers are going up all the time. Like us somewhere or whatever. Smash that thumb. Sengor33. Uh, subs try subscribe subscribe on YouTube. Try and occasionally work out a way to buy some product that might suit you so we can keep going another two months. And we'll It's all right. It's all right. We're working on a product that you will just not, not, not be able to have. We'll be back for the round on Monday. There'll be stacks to talk about. And remember, Saturday, it's the final day of the champion. Final day. They'll never race again after Saturday. See you guys.